Okay, we got another video with uh, Jason Guttertrash and his son Pigpen. Of course, um, you know, he doesn't give you the full story, but he's got more confrontations. He was in Louisiana, now he's in Florida. What the heck happened to Georgia? I challenged this wimp. I said, hey, look, limp dick, you need to come down to Rockdale County, Georgia. He has not done that. He has skipped Georgia, went from Louisiana to Florida, and somehow missed Georgia. And here's a guy who claims to have been in 53 states, traveling all over the country, supporting the First Amendment, which, by the way, he does not do. Okay, what he is, is he's a lying SOB, and I think we can all agree on that. I mean... That's what you're saying, yeah. well, don't answer those stupid questions, guys, because those questions are specifically designed to uh, have you entrap yourself. So uh, don't answer questions like that. You have a right to refuse to answer any questions. And uh, I'll give you a real secret, not screwing around, really seriously. Um, most people, when they don't want to, if a cop starts getting aggressive and they don't want to answer questions, most people will just keep saying, I don't answer questions, I don't answer questions. You want to get the cop to stop asking you questions, just tell him to call your attorney. Tell him that you don't answer any questions, you've been advised by your attorney not to speak without your attorney being present, and they will immediately stop questioning you. Little uh, inside tip from AP. I didn't go that far because this guy understood I don't have to answer his questions. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. So there's a reason they tell you that. If you guys uh, pay attention to things that go on, if a judge, a cop, any uh, city official, public official, elected official gets arrested, they do not answer questions, man. I can guarantee you that. And there's a reason for it. Okay, I happen to agree with that part. Okay, even though I think this guy's a complete dickhole, I do agree with that part. But he runs his mouth, and these videos can be used against him, too. Now, if you feel like you know what to say and you can outsmart the system, that's up to you. But uh, I would suggest you don't. And that nice young lady that was here a few minutes ago screaming at us is still over at the gas station. This is Walton County, Florida. <clears throat> you do the same, sir. Appreciate you. Hey, sir, can I just ask you a question real quick? Okay, this is not Walton County, Georgia. This is Walton County, Florida. Walton County, Georgia is next to uh, Newton County, Georgia, and those guys are uh, just as corrupt as ever. So uh, come on down to Georgia, Jason. I double dog dare you. I sincerely just want to thank you and tell you how much I appreciate your professionalism and your knowledge and being educated. Uh, uh, how, I, how I look at it, you guys aren't breaking any laws. You're legal. This cop is useless, okay? The fact of the matter is he should have at least gotten the guy's ID. Has not done this. This cop is a pushover. Allowed to record whoever you want, <clears throat> as long as you're staying on on county property, of course. Right. And you know that you clearly are. Yes, sir. You, you know your your laws and your rights, so yeah. I'm not here to. Walton County's not going to be the place that violates <clears throat> your rights. So. Well, that's good to hear. We're not. Make sure you say Walton County, Florida. Walton County, Georgia. That might be another matter, but um, the thing is, uh, this cop's a complete pushover. Um, Jason does walk onto private property, of course. Uh, I don't know if he did so in front of the cop, but he certainly did so. We're not here to violate anybody's rights. We're just here to make sure it's peaceful because she said she came out and talked to y'all and it got confrontational. And I told her just to ignore y'all and because you guys do have that right. I think uh, that's excellent just, advice. Just try. i not saying you did. That's what she said, okay? Just try not not getting confrontational. Well, if somebody comes out and starts talking to me, I answer yeah. them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you yeah. can answer. I'm not saying that. Sure. I'm saying try keep it peaceful by, no, I stayed out by of being the bigger person. You I hear you, I mean? and I appreciate that, but yeah. I'm, I'm 51 years old. I've stayed out of trouble for a long time, man. Hey. And, uh, and uh, let's uh, 
you know, bring up the fact that Jason Adam uh, Gutterman does have a criminal record. He's an ex-con, and he's a grifter. He's a present con, too. He just hasn't been busted, okay? He's a liar. He's a grifter, okay? And he's a, a domestic terrorist, and he's doing what's called criminal surveillance. I just want to ask you one question, because I really, you're coming across, you know, like anything in life, there's bad photographers, good photographers, bad law enforcement, there's some excellent law enforcement in this country, and we support good law enforcement, yes, right? Sir. So you're coming across as one of the guys on the good side today, and I appreciate that, and I thank you for that. But just the question I want to ask you is, what do you feel like a good police officer's worst enemy is? I'm going to stay away from anything political right now. No, okay? not political. I, no, no, nothing to do with politics. Just very generalized. Nothing gonna, to do with that. I'm going to. I'll I'm answer. Gonna, I'll gonna answer play. it for you. Okay. A bad ahead. cop. And there he goes with his usual, you know, a bad cop. <laughs> well, I met them sort of. Yeah. So that's Jason Good Trash, you know. And he's always causing trouble. Yeah, I think he's still in Florida. They're going to talk to the supervisor. So, here's their loading dock, which is right out in the middle of the public post office um, on the side mm -hmm. of the building, not even in the back, really. I mean, it's kind of in the back. It's on the corner. Um, but no restricted area signs. Actually, that's a lie, but... Um this guy, after all, he is a domestic terrorist, and he's conducting criminal surveillance. No, no trespassing signs, no employee-only signs, no nothing. Uh, the only sign I'm seeing here is no skateboards, bicycle riding, or <clears throat> roller skating. I didn't see a sign that said no burglary, so I guess that's okay. Then you have the same sign up here on this pillar. So, no skateboards, bicycle riding, or roller skating. Oh, no, Joan. What exactly are you doing? We're doing a property inspection. A what? Property inspection. So we're taking a look at... The no, they are not doing a property inspection. They are not doing a First Amendment audit. Okay? The uh, grass that needs to be cut, some repairs that need to be made on the building. Okay. Are you the postmaster? No, I'm the supervisor working right now. Okay, so I'll come in and take a look at you. Talk to you. What company are you with? Well, I'll come in and talk to you when we're done what doing our inspection. Like I said, when I'm done doing my inspection, I'll what's your first name? I'll come in and ask for you. What company are you with? Sir, when I'm done doing my inspection, I will give you all the information you need. Well, I just explained myself to you. Well, that's all the explanation I'm giving for now. When I'm done, I'll be happy to explain the whole thing to you. I'm not coming in. No, you have to have ID to come in here and be approved to enter the building. I have to have ID to enter a post office and be approved to enter the building. I'm not coming in the back of the house. But you're in the back I'm of the not house. In going into any unrestricted area, uh, restric you're in the back of the house. You tried to come in the back of the house, and the only reason you didn't go in the back of the house is because this guy stopped you. Okay? Liar. Restricted areas, anything that's off limits, we're sticking to public areas. Okay, but who you no, you're not sticking to public areas. Again, but what do you expect from a domestic terrorist? Hi, we're going in a circular conversation, so I'll see you in a few I'm minutes. Not answering. So, uh, you supposed to be smoking out here too? Excuse you? Are you supposed to be smoking cigarettes out here I'm next to the back door? I'm on break. Next to the back door? How many feet away from the door are you supposed to be? All right, you're yeah. I'm He's on break. He said that. I'm leaving. Get a life. Wrong. You're not leaving. You're still there. It's not very professional. Uh, one of the other things two people complain about is they think that Jason Gutter Trash is a bum. Uh, you know what? Yeah, he is. He's a bum with a camera and a YouTube channel, channel, but yes, he is a bum. He's a transient, he's a vagrant. Well, I've traveled in 53 different states. 
By the way, it's only 50, but... Uh, I just told you what I'm doing. You said what you're doing, not who you're with. Why do I need... Well, you're telling me things that don't count, so I don't know. I don't want to have that conversation. Fascinating. You're not allowed in this area. What are you talking about? The sign right there says you're not in a point, you're not allowed in a point. Oh, really? Let's see what the sign says. Can I, am I going to be able to read the sign, or is it faded into uh, white? Wow, you're, you're brilliant. Can I read? A uh, good question. So Can you read? For postal employees only. I'm not a vehicle. Exactly. As a supervisor, station supervisor, you should be a little more approachable. Um, Just a suggestion. You, you can do what you want with it. Who you are and why you're here. I did tell you why I'm here. I'm at the Miramar Beach Post Office, and I got some guys walking around filming, going in unauthorized areas, refusing to tell me who. Don't make a false police report. Doing. Not true. Uh, that is true. Reported. Yes, David. All they will say is that they're. So this guy's name is David. Viewing and appraising the property. I never said I was appraising anything. You got to get accurate, David. Do you speak? And you were. Lies. You did say you were there to inspect the property, so yeah, I can understand that. So, uh, okay, uh, there is um, the pot calling the kettle black. Don't tell lies, uh, as we see uh, gutter trash lies all the time. David, I'm going to for you request that phone call. Make sure you tell the truth. Yes. Stick to reality, buddy. Don't embellish. So uh, let's go over what David just told us here. So David is claiming that this parking lot is a restricted area. I've, I, I think I've heard a little bit of it. It's like free speech. Uh, it's an exercise of right. I'm going to yeah, back yeah. up just so a little bit for this one. To publicly accessible areas of public places. Yeah. And exercise. Right, so All right. So same cop, by the way, as before. Audience. Okay. You know what that is? I've, I, I think I've heard a little bit of it. It's like free speech. Uh, it's an exercise of rights. Yeah. Yeah. So what, we, all right, so, all right, so what we're doing is a First Amendment audit. Okay. You know what that is? I've, I, I think I've heard a little bit of it. It's like free speech. Uh, it's an exercise of rights. Yeah. Yeah. So what we do is we go to publicly accessible areas of public places yeah. and exercise our right to take video and photographs. That would be great. Thank you. Very much appreciate that. 58 cents. Yes, ma'am. Do you guys do Apple Pay? No. You don't? Um, you have no money on you, I'm sure, right? No. You don't do Apple Pay? No, sir. All right, I'll have to go out to the car and get I a... I wish uh... we had modern technology. Gotcha. Well, I appreciate you, and I appreciate you coming up and helping us out. I don't know what's going on back there, but I'll come back with some cash. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Oof, Mrs. AP took the car to the, uh, I know the post office needs the money. <laughs> so they get... Well, you know, uh, let me say something that Mrs. AP, she took the car. They don't leave their cars around because they don't want people getting their VINs or their tag numbers. <clears throat> and although people have told me in the comments, oh, they can't do anything with the VINs. Uh, yeah, they can. They can do quite a lot with the VINs. I've double checked that just to be sure, but yes. And, uh, no, you don't want your tag number uh, broadcast all over YouTube because this guy is up to nefarious deeds. They can keep the penny. Thank you. Really, you. I am. It's a no, that's okay. I have. No worries. Can I just get a paper receipt with that, too? Uh, she was about to get the receipt, but as usual, he says, hey, can I get a receipt? Implying that she's not going to do that. Please. Okay, absolutely. Thank you. That way I can prove I was here. And who gives a damn? Put it in your scrapbook. Huh? I will. Put it in your scrapbook for all we care, because we don't care. Uh, and now he's uh, 
somehow he's missed Georgia. Now he's in Alabama. You know, how in the world did he miss uh, that? You know, how did you do that? You know? But anyway, yeah, he uh, somehow he misses Georgia. And now he's back in Alabama. I think he's in um, Theodore, Alabama. Okay. And here's their loading dock area. What Where are you? What the sign says up here. So you have a sign here that says do not enter. This is a place where you clearly do not belong. But again, what do you expect from a domestic terrorist? When you call the police, <clears throat> record it as domestic terrorism and insist on a case number and insist on a report and you want a 1011. Okay? And call it as domestic terrorism because that's exactly what this is. And look, it's the post office for crying out loud. Do I need to explain it? But, uh, no restricted signs. No, no. He said, uh, you know, the sign says do not enter, but says nothing about restriction. You know, it says do not enter, but, you know, doesn't say anything about nothing restricted. And here's their loading dock area. I wonder what this sign says up here. So we have a sign here that says do not enter. <coughs> but uh, no restricted signs, no, no trespassing signs. Yeah. Feels pretty good in the shade, huh? Sorry? No, we're not with the power washers. No. What is Elsie? Huh? Sorry? Who are y'all with? I'm not with anyone. I'm with myself. I'm not with anyone. Do you have a video on you? Do you work here? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know who you are. All right. Yeah. Who are y'all? We're just taking a look at the post office. Oh. Okay. <laughs> are you a postmaster or station manager? Hey. Sorry? Ma'am? Did I say something off color? Well, see, that's not a way to behave. That's not nice. It says authorized personnel only. No, it says authorized vehicles only. Wow, that's the same thing. <clears throat> There's a prime example, guys. Prime example of what can sometimes happen when you're nice to somebody. A lot of times they get comments. Why were People think of this guy as a bum. <clears throat> Uh, take a look. Yeah, no wonder. Yeah, they mistake him as a bum or a transient or whatever, a vagrant. That's exactly what he is. Now, if the sign says do not enter, he says, well, I didn't see a sign that says no trespassing. If you tell him to leave, he says, well, I don't see a sign. Or if the sign that says he's not authorized, he says, well, that doesn't apply to me. It doesn't matter how many signs you put up there. It doesn't matter how many times you tell him. There's only one way to deal with this guy. And uh, <clears throat> these people are not doing it. Or you're just nice to the lady. I'm always going to be nice. It's not going to change how I behave. Uh, that is a damn lie. Okay? I'm just going to call this guy Jason Gutter Trash, a liar to his face. This guy is a damn liar. As long as she came out cordial, but uh, just to stop talking, hide behind the little... And this guy is always so offended so easily. Oh, yeah, somebody offended him. Yeah, and look at his mouth. Okay. Again, um, Wimp, how come you didn't go to Rockdale County, Georgia? I challenged you, and you didn't do it. You bypassed it. You went from Louisiana to Florida. You bypassed Georgia. Now you're back in Alabama, and you bypassed Rockdale County, Georgia mail bin thing here and then walk inside and just abruptly end the conversation like that after I was being very respectful you are being a piece of shit yep alright well let's carry on with what we were doing here um, we didn't look at this side of the building is that suspicious 
Oh, she's going to love it when we go inside then. Wouldn't even identify herself. Why should she? You didn't identify yourself. And, and that's another thing, guys. If, if somebody doesn't properly identify themselves as being in a position of authority or being somebody that you should have to listen to, you can just walk away. Okay. You're going to come out under color of law if it's a police officer or uh, color of authority like this young lady just did here. You know, she was giving us uh, directives, um, acting in her official capacity. Um, you, know. you were trespassing. Very easily could have identified herself. Now we have another guy walking around back here. See, maybe he's more friendly. Should you be in the back of the post Hello, office? Sir. How are you? Fine. Are you an employee here at the post office? Yes. Oh, okay. This young lady came out. She was asking us what we were doing. We were having a cordial conversation. She just turned around and walked away, so I didn't know what happened. Yeah. You're not supposed to have uh, video cameras on the premises, so. I can't, um, with this thing running, I can't hear you talking oh, very well. I said we're not supposed to have video cameras on the premises where, uh, like, uh, non-employees aren't allowed back in the back. I didn't see anything. I, I'm very careful to look for signs telling yeah. me to stay out. And actually, he's not very careful because in many cases, he's actually bypassed the signs. So again, uh, liar, Jason Gooder trash. Are none. Authorized personnel only. It doesn't say personnel, it says authorized vehicles only. And since I'm not a vehicle, I thought that just meant you don't want unwanted vehicle traffic back here. No. Doesn't say anything about pedestrians, but I do follow signs. You don't follow signs, you ignore them. Okay? Uh, how many times I got to, let's all agree that this guy, Jason Gooder trash, is nothing but a liar. All right. Can I just ask what your position here, who you are? Yes, supervisor. Supervisor. You're a station manager or supervisor? Supervisor. Okay, yes. gotcha. Well, we mean you no harm. We're just oh, taking yeah, some video. Right. You do mean them harm, and you're a grifter, and you're a domestic terrorist. That's fine. Is that all right with you? Yeah. Okay, very good. It is. And your name? Greg. Greg? Yeah. My name's Jason Greg. Okay. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Yep. Appreciate it. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. And, uh, I mean, I don't know if you're this young lady's supervisor. I'm not trying to file no, any kind of complaint or no, anything. she's postmaster. She's the postmaster. Right. Okay. Well, she should act a little more professional, just in my humble opinion. She... Uh, we didn't ask for your opinion, gutter trash. And you're wrong. Came out, asked me what we were doing. I answered her just like I answered well, we you. A, we get a lot of uh, transient people in here. And... I Transients don't usually yeah. carry cameras oh, like I, this. I, I... <laughs> uh, burglars do. Domestic terrorists do. <laughs> but we do. We have a lot of people like that live in the woods here, literally, and uh, have some theft and people going back into the shed and things like that. So. Okay. No, and I understand that, but I think she yeah. understood right away, just like you did, that we're not those guys. No, she didn't understand that, and neither would I. Look in the mirror, jackass. Uh, but all I'm suggesting is she came out, asked me what we were doing. I was gave her the same answers, the same cordial response I'm giving you, and then she... No, you act like a jackass, okay? Uh, this is going to wrap it up. I'm watching Jason Gutter Trash, so you don't have to.